Hi, I'm a librarian and I'm going to walk you through how to add your research path badging modules into Moodle. It's actually a simple process, although first there might seem like there are a lot of steps, but it's actually pretty straightforward. So the first thing I'm, you're going to want to do is take the .mbz file that was provided to you and save it somewhere like in your downloads or on your desktop so that you have it around. I'm going to stop my video so that you can see my full screen. So what you'll need to do after you've saved your MBZ file is you'll want to upload it into your Moodle course, right? But in Moodle, putting stuff into your course isn't called uploading it, it's called restoring it. So what you would do is you would click this right, uh, this red gear in the upper right corner of your screen. And once you would click it, you go down and you choose the restore option. Restore is Moodle's term for adding stuff to a course. Um, so once you hit restore, Moodle is going to ask you, okay, what stuff do you want to put into your course? And here's where you would choose, hit choose a file and choose file again. And here's where you would navigate to and find that .mbz file that you saved, whether it's on your desktop or in your downloads, I've put mine in a special folder. Um, you'll select it, hit open, and then hit upload. So far, so good, right? Then you'll see the file is here in this box. Perfect. You'll hit restore. And on the next few screens, you're going to go through a, a bunch of steps, but really, you don't really have to do anything. Um, I'll show you the first screen just tells you what's going to come into your course. And you hit continue. And it'll ask you just to make sure you want to restore this stuff into this course. Since we started in the course we wanted to put our research path badging modules into, we just say continue. Yes, we want to restore into this course. Now, here are some checkboxes. You don't have to do anything here. And in fact, you shouldn't uncheck this include competencies. Make sure to leave that as it is. You want that to be checked. Don't uncheck it. Um, that is needed so that your badges are awarded to your students correctly. So you would hit next. And then here, you don't have to do anything again. But if you want to, you can uncheck this box for the user survey. The librarians have made a user survey that's going to come in with the other research path content to get an idea of how your students like uh, the research path modules. You can leave that checked if you're okay with that, but if you don't want it, you can uncheck it or you can always delete it later from your course. Then I'm going to hit next. This is just one more review screen. Scroll all the way to the bottom and hit perform restore. Now at this point, this page will appear. It just says the restore process is pending. You don't have to wait for it to complete. You can just hit return to course and do whatever it is that you want to do. And when the restore process is complete, you'll get a notification up here in your notifications bar. Okay, now my restore just took a couple of minutes and I wanna take you through what actually came in. So the first thing you'll see is um, a, a block of text and a video. This is for your students, it's meant to explain um, what research path tutorials are and what digital badges are. There's a brief video for them to watch if they're curious. You can change anything you like about this. If you just hit edit and then choose edit settings, you can edit this text in any way that you like. I think it is a good idea to keep it in just so your students understand that they are going to get badges. Um, otherwise, it'll be something of a surprise. Now down here, you'll see that you have a tutorial link and under that you have the associated quiz. Um, you can edit this quiz uh, in a certain number of respects. You can go into the quiz, hit edit, change the timing to add a due date, just like you would on any other quiz. What you do need to leave alone, so to speak, is the activity completion and the competencies. Don't change anything in either the activity completion or the competencies section of the settings as these are needed for your students to earn the badge. Finally, down at the bottom, 
is the survey link. Now, if you change your mind and you don't want your students to complete the survey, you can always just delete it. If you want to move this content into a different part of the course, you can either click and drag it, or you can click on this little uh, navigation icon there, and you can move it to wherever it is that you want it to go. Uh, you will have to move each item separately. It's just a thing that is true of Moodle. Alrighty, so if you have any questions about any of this, the ITRC is always happy to help with Moodle questions, or you can respond uh, to the library instruction department or whoever delivered your MBZ files uh, with any questions. Thanks, and I hope you enjoy your research path badging modules. <laughs>